Abby here, and welcome back to Tech Tuesday. Today, I'm going to be reviewing the Fitbit Versa 3. But before I get started, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you can stay tuned to all my new videos dropping weekly, and so you can help the channel grow. So this is the Fitbit Versa 3 in the color Grape Thistle Soft Gold. And the Fitbit Versa 3 does come with two bands. It comes with a large band and a small band, so this can fit a variety of different wrist sizes. And it also comes with a magnetic charger here for you to keep your Fitbit nice and charged. And I've already unboxed this Fitbit, so if you guys missed that video and you wanna check it out, go to the video on the top right when you're done watching this. So the price of the Fitbit Versa 3 right now as of recording is $299.99 Canadian, or $229.99 American. And as the Fitbit Versa 3 has been out for a while now, it definitely is going on sale a lot more often. So you could see maybe like $50 off, $100 off, depending on your area and depending on the sale day. All right guys, so now I'm gonna go over major features, highlights for the Fitbit Versa 3. So starting off, the Fitbit Versa 3 has sleep tracking. With the sleep tracking, you have the ability to turn on or off your SpO2. It also has a smart wake alarm, which will wake you up at the perfect, least disruptive time in your sleep cycle. It also has heart rate monitoring. It monitors your heart rate 24 seven. It has built-in GPS, so you can use GPS phone free. It can answer text messages. You have the option to answer or deny phone calls. There is a built-in microphone, so you can actually speak directly on your wrist when you do answer phone calls. And you can use that mic for Alexa or Google Assistant. You have the option to turn on either or. I believe those are only working with Androids, guys. It has a water rating up to 5 ATM, so you can take it in the shower with you, in the rain, in the pool, all of that stuff, and you'll be good. It has basic clock features like alarms, timers, stopwatch, and more. It shows your distance, your steps. It has an optional always on display. But be warned when you do have this on, it does bring your battery life down to about two days or less. And it also does have music download ability with Deezer. So you can download your Deezer playlist if you do have a Deezer subscription. For me, I use Spotify. So with Spotify, you can control your music with it, but you cannot actually download any Spotify music. And you also cannot download your own physical music from your computer. And there's more features as well on this watch, but these are the most important, I think. So back to the review. All right, guys, so now I'm gonna show you some close-up shots of the Fitbit Versa 3, so you can see all around it. So it does have an infinity band, that's the watch band here. It is completely smooth. And in order to kind of change your watch bands, you have to like push your nail in and kind of like pull it out at the same time. I personally don't like the way that you have to change the watch bands. I just find it kind of tricky and I feel like if I pull too hard it will break. So that's just something to be mindful of. You know, be careful, that might just be a me issue, but I don't really like the changing mechanism of the infinity bands. But the band right here is super comfortable to wear, guys. It's just smooth and it's lightweight and I've had no issues there. So now I'm just gonna show you guys the heart rate sensor. So as you can see, it is completely smooth. There's no bumper edges. So it's just like lies flat against your wrist. I haven't had any irritation from this heart rate sensor, which is fantastic for me. All right, so now I'm gonna try it on so you can see what it looks like on me. And it does also have an AMOLED display, so you're able to see a bunch of bright, bold, punchy colors on here. All right, so now I'm gonna show you guys the packaging all around so you can see what that looks like here. And I do like the packaging. They provide enough information to show their consumer what the watch does or kind of the highlighted functions here anyway. And the color represented on the box is pretty accurate to what it looks like, you know, out of the box. And now I'm just gonna quickly show you guys the difference between the small and the large band. So we can see that the large band has quite a bit more space here. So this can fit, you know, a variety of different wrists. I have a seven inch wrist. I could wear either or. If I wear the large band, there is more overlap but this watch is kind of great for everyone because it can fit a variety of different wrists. And as you can see on the sides here, there's no physical buttons. On the left side, we do have like an indented kind of button here. All right guys, so I'm showing you how to use it now. So there's a button on the side that you can press here, and this is a button to wake up the screen, and it also works as a back button as well. So if you hold it, you open up your preset there. For me, that's a timer. And then press it to go back. If you double tap it, you open up your kind of shortcut menu, which you see I have here, four different apps. This is Google Assistant. For me, Google Assistant doesn't work 90% of the time, so I'm not happy with that function. But you do have the option to have that there. As you can see, it says connection lost. All right, so pressing the back button again, going back to the main screen here. And you can see the mic over here. Um, I did tell you guys that you can use the mic to speak to Google Assistant. You can also use it to 
take your phone calls and everything as well. So now if you swipe down, you're going to see all your notifications. As you can see, I'm all caught up. And if you swipe up, you're going to see all your different core stats metrics that you can go through, such as your heart rate, your steps, your sleep, all of that stuff. And if you swipe to the left, you can see all the different apps that you do have installed on your Versa 3. And swiping the other way gets you back to the home page. And from the home page, if you swipe left, you could see kind of like your shortcuts menu for enabling do not disturb mode, enabling sleep mode, different things there. All right guys, so that's basically how you use this watch. It's pretty straightforward. When you do first get the watch as well, it walks you through all of the basics, everything I just said and how to use it. So now I'm gonna show you some watch faces. So this is one that I do like. It has nice bright colors on here and the time is really big and bold, easy to read. And here's some more. And you can have up to seven watch faces stored on your Versa 3. You can change them and add more on the Fitbit app. If you do wanna know what watch face I'm using, just comment below and I can let you know. And as I did tell you guys, it does have a built-in GPS. In my experience, GPS here is not great. It constantly loses connection at least once or twice per walk, run, whatever I'm doing outside. And I'm finding it's not as accurate as it should be. And I'm just gonna quickly show you guys some data here from when I went out on a walk using my Vivo Active 4S and using my Versa 3. As you can see, if you're kind of comparing the two, that the Versa 3 recorded less distance and less time and steps compared to my Vivo Active 4S, as I did say before. All right, guys, so talking about the battery life, I want to let you know that the battery life is not as good as quoted. I am not getting six days. With my uses, actually, which you can see on screen, I'm only getting three to four days, guys, which isn't amazing. I also want to mention that Fitbit has fantastic sleep tracking and with that sleep tracking you're able to see your REM, your time awake, time in deep and light sleep which I find really helpful and in my opinion Fitbits are just the most accurate when it comes to sleep tracking. I don't know how they do it but they do it guys. So if you're looking for a quality accurate sleep tracker you might want to consider the Versa 3. Alright guys so just considering the price, the quality, the color, the durability, the functionality, performance, and the battery life of this watch, I would go ahead and give it an 8.3 out of 10. And I definitely do give it a thumbs up. And if you guys are looking to get the Fitbit Versa 3, I've gone ahead and left the link in the description for you below. That's all I have for today, guys. If there's anything I missed that you wanna know, just go ahead and comment below. Thanks for watching, guys, and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.